features. We'll turn the hydraulic on. We'll turn the sequencer on. We can manually lift the head up. We can make it go down. We can adjust the speed by adjusting the feed pressure gauge and the inch per minute gauge. We can also, if we need to put the head down quicker, we can use the rapid, rapid down lever. Uh, in manual mode, we can also use the shuttle. We can uh, close the uh, front vise, the shuttle vise. shuttle forward. There's also a rapid travel. We can creep the shuttle backwards and we can rapid travel. The back side, there's a limit stop that you can adjust to whatever length you need. We're going to set it around four inches for a Saw, we lo loosen that lever up. We can pivot the vise to uh, the, whatever degree we want. We have a gauge down here that tells us how many degrees we can pivot this. In default it's set at 90. Then we lock it down. We can start the saw blade up here. We have a speed indicator for the blade speed and a variable speed handle for the blade. This increases the blade speed. You can see that we were running around 78, now we're at 103. Stop the blade, we have coolant. We don't have any coolant in the tank right now, but the coolant pump works. Um, we also have these locking levers we can move in or out for different width of uh, material. And then uh, adjustable coolant. going to show you how to do an automatic cycle with this Hydmec S20A. We have the sequencer on because we're going to use that for the automatic cycle. So let's start the hydraulics. One thing that's very important, I'm going to move this out of the way so we can see kind of what we're doing here. The shuttle has to be all the way forward to the home position. So we're going to move that. We're going to advance the shuttle all the way to the front. This is the home position. It will not run in auto mode unless it's in the front position. So we have that in the front position, the shuttle vise is open, and the uh, front vise is open. Um, all that's left to do is we set up our, how many indexes we want uh, a piece to index. So say if we need um, something that's around 72 inches, um, and, we all know, and we only have uh, a 48 inch table, we can index it a couple times to get it to, get it to 72 inches. Right now, we're gonna do a 12 inch piece, um, we're setting it at four inches in the back and we're going to index it three times and it'll do this for a quantity of two and this can do up to 999 before it'll stop and you have to start over. Um, but right now we're just going to do a couple couple of uh, programs here. So we'll switch it into neutral and then into auto. You're going to see if, uh, the word paused on the screen. We just push this hydraulic start. But before I do that, I'm going to stick this piece in here so you can see what we're doing. Okay. We're going to hit the hydraulic start button, and then we're going to hit the blade start button after we get to the top.
can set the height of the saw on the back side of the saw so it doesn't have as long of a distance to travel. the uh, quantity is reached, then the machine will shut off.